Well, hello and welcome to this new video on IBKR Desktop. This is a really exciting development. It's a brand new platform that Interactive Brokers has just rolled out. and We're going to go through and explore and really dive into the bells and whistles of it. So stay tuned. Let's get to it. So first things first, I'm going to bring you to the Interactive Brokers website where you would download the platform. So if I go over trading and I go to platforms, you can see the various platforms out there and we see the brand new IBKR desktop. Now the trading skills are for beginner to intermediate and this is a little different platform. You'll notice the one that's been around for decades, Trader Workstation, is more for intermediate to advanced traders and this is more for beginner to intermediate and that's important. This program is much more designed for a, a newer trader it's much easier to understand and to work with and I think it's going to be great for a lot of traders that are just getting introduced to the markets I've played around with it a little bit and it doesn't have quite as much as the trader workstation platform but I would compare it to Thinkorswim. Those that love the Thinkorswim platform that was created by Ameritrade and bought out by Schwab, uh, we often get traders that prefer that. It's just a little easier to use. I think that's how IBKR desktop's going to be. So first you would download this onto your desktop, hit this button, and it would pull up an icon, and let me show you the icon here, that would look like this. And so you'd see an icon like this, IBKR desktop, that would pop up and be on your platform. And then from there, you would simply log in. Disclaimer. This video was created for professional stock and option traders. Maverick Trading is a proprietary trading firm that employs professional traders around the world. Our traders trade firm capital and keep 70 to 80% of profits they generate. All trades and analysis in this video are for professional traders only. If you are interested in becoming a professional trader for Maverick, Click the apply button in the video description. So now it's going to pull the platform up as such and you can see that the layout is very similar to the Thinkorswim platform. We can grab and, and move and make these bigger or smaller. We can click along the side. Obviously we're in the portfolio which would show any positions and we can click to see any open orders and our balances and so forth and read those details but down the side we can go into our watch list and we can add and subtract stocks and have different things there. We could go into the quote panel, uh, punch in a stock, pull up its option chain, do some option analysis and so forth. We could go into screeners if we wanted to scan for certain things and we can go into the news if we wanted to be updated on what's happening today and what the details are of that and who's reporting earnings and today after the bell anyway Nvidia was reporting earnings and that was a big story so um, we can go through these one by one now if I come into the watch list well, obviously from here I could right click and I could buy or sell a stock I could go into fundamentals or an option chain and so forth and I could also come right here to the quote panel and customize the charts and you'll notice if I right click I can change the settings I can go into different details if I want these instead of being an open high low close maybe I want to change it to different type of maybe a candlestick chart whatever we can customize all of these charts we can change the time periods if I don't want that a one minute I want it to be uh, maybe a a daily chart or a weekly chart or something like that I can change that accordingly now if I go into the option chain from here I could change the stock symbol that I wanted to utilize but this is a really cool feature where we can hit the strategy builder button and if we click on that strategy builder now as I click on different options I can point and click so let's say I wanted to go to the June 28th options and I wanted this 180 call and maybe I'm gonna buy that so I click on it and you'll see it puts it right up here in the top right hand corner and then maybe I wanna sell a short term call against it maybe we're doing a diagonal call spread so I'm gonna hit the sell button on that now it's built you can see 
a diagonal spread. And it even says, here's the June diagonal. It's a June 28th, June 07, 180, 185 diagonal. And it gives me a risk graph down here. Again, I could expand these out. I could look at them more closely. I can even click that button next to it, which is Options Analysis. And from here, it's going to bring me into a little bit more detailed information of the implied or historical volatility and so forth. But um, as we go back again to the, these details, the the ability to point and click and the ease of use is very nice and very uh, easy and open to utilize. Now, if we come back to that strategy builder and we look at this trade, again, we could zoom into it a little bit and we can even come in here and customize some of the details of the, the risk graph. And so this risk graph shows you your profit and loss, but it's showing it in areas of between if the stock is flat to up 10, down 10, down 20, down 30, up 20. Well, I don't want 30% moves. I'm not playing the stock to move 30%. That's unlikely. So I can change that so that it tightens it up. Maybe I want to go to 5%. Now what that will do is that will make this range a much tighter range so that the max move is between 0 to 5%. And now I can start to see what would happen in that context. Okay, well, what if it moved? And for some reason, it's not updating there. It's kind of grayed out, and I'm not sure why. But basically, it would say 0 to minus 1, minus 3, minus 5. 0 to plus 1, plus 3, plus 5. 5% because now 5% is the max move and that would give me a more detailed uh, informational outlook there of what's really happening. So let's change this. Let's go back and say that we were going to do a trade on, oh, I don't know. Let's say we were going to trade uh, the SPY and if we wanted to do that, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go into the option chain from here, I'm going to have Strategy Builder selected, and maybe we want to do a butterfly, let's say, and we want to go out, oh, I don't know, 23 days on this, hypothetically, and we're going to do a targeted butterfly, so I'm going to point and click, and I don't have enough strike prices, so I want, I don't know, let's do all of the strikes, and so we already selected to buy the 530 call. Maybe we want to sell the 545 and buy the 560. So we're going to create a 15 point wide butterfly. But you can see there's something wrong with the butterfly, which is we're buying one of the outer wings, but we need to be selling two of the body. So I need to change that ratio to two. One, two, one. Now we've built a butterfly. And now as I look at this risk graph, it's going to give me the details of it as that stock is moving and, and how it's behaving, here's my risk graph. And again, it's between zero to 30%, but I could change that. Now notice, it gives me the profit and loss details and it says, okay, if the stock moves X amount, and because the market's closed, I guess is the issue. It's not giving us real-time data because it doesn't have the data um, updated or something to that effect, but basically, you would normally see this all outlaid where if the underlying stock went down or went up, it would show you your gains and losses. In this case, it just says we have $479 of max loss and it's not updating any of the columns. But you can see how you can customize and adjust that. We could even say, well, we want to know where this is going to be between now and this period of time or now and this period and we could change the dates and change some of the details to have that refresh and update and get a sense of of the behavior of that trade. So you can see that this is somewhat similar to that thinkorswim platform with the risk graphs and with some of the functionality and so forth and just a little bit more user friendly, easy to utilize. Um, we kind of glossed over a couple of these points, but if we went into the options analysis, this is a really nice feature where every stock out there has its own implied volatility because it has its own behavior. Not all stocks trade the same way. So 
this is how the options are priced is based on that stock's volatility. Well, we can see and do a comparison of the implied volatility over certain periods of time. If I were to change this to Tesla and look at the implied volatilities, well, it's much more volatile than the S&P 500. And so it'll be at a higher implied and historical volatility number. And then again, we can start to look at the details of that and see where you know, maybe there's expensive options or less expensive options and so forth. And generally speaking, when you analyze volatility, there's something they call skew, um, often referred to as a volatility smile or smirk, where out of the money puts traded a higher implied volatility than out of the money calls, but both of them a little bit higher than the at the monies. And so you'll have a little curvature that kind of looks like a smile formation and such. And so you can dig into a lot of those details and see those volatility studies and such. Now, again, we can get this information from the trader workstation. It's not like all of this stuff is brand new. It's just a little bit more user friendly. Uh, again, going back to the way that they define it, this is more a platform for beginner to intermediate whereas the trader workstation is more for traders that are intermediate to advanced. So that's what it really hits is anyone that's brand new and wants to work their way up the ladder would probably start with this platform and then graduate to trader workstation in the future. So uh, the screeners are, are nice. We can select the stock. We can even do searches within various sectors and such. And then we can apply filters. So if you wanted to define the filters, usually it's fundamental or technical. If you wanted to do some things with the customization of this, usually there's a little plus sign. And as you hit the plus sign, you can add different stocks. You can customize. So let's say we wanted to add this particular name, bingo. And now it puts in the prices and such. And you'd fill up your watch list in that manner. When you come into the charts, um, when you go into those, again, get used to right clicking. Right click will allow you to do a lot of different things. So right click, well, we could pull up a quote detail. It'll bring us into the charts. If we right click on a chart, we can do certain things with that. We can move the chart forward or backward. We can uh, really the settings is, allows you to customize. You can make any color coordination and so forth. And even this entire platform, we could change to a white background. I have it on the black background, but all of that is customizable. So this is a good introductory video to introduce you to the brand new IBKR desktop platform. It's just been launched. It's new and exciting and we're all learning it as we go, but pretty fun stuff. Hope you enjoyed this intro video to IBKR desktop. Have a fun time with it. We'll see you next time. <music>